my channel and today at we are at my university Cranfield University and we are going to see today some of the student accommodation and the first house we are going to see is the shared house and there are many shared house and in the shared house it's like uh, different rooms like large medium small so we are going to see one of the rooms today so I'll show you this is the main uh, field of that field over here and let's go. This is the kitchen area. So we share this kitchen with five people. Okay. One stove, um, four different stoves, and the heating area. It's an induction, right? Yeah. Uh, the stove is, is induction. This is not automatic. We have to operate manually. Mm -hmm. and this is what we say. O oven. Oven. Okay. And you have got one microwave as well. Microwave, kettle. Okay. Then toaster. Toaster is there. And what, what else did you get from the university? So from the university we got this utensils, different okay. utensils, which is very enough for five people. Okay. So all the everything, pans and all? All the pans. Everything which you can see in the black. Mm -hmm. Spoil, okay. QC, and Russell Hobbs uh, rice cooker. Okay. These things we got. And then we got a kit for kitchen area. Mm -hmm. So all the knives are there. Mm -hmm. Knives, then scissors are there. Okay. The thing which we greater. need to greater. Okay. So basically everything you need and I think for the Indian students you might bring a cooker to boil your pulses. That's important. Yeah, but and yeah, do bring an induction one because most of the houses have these induction tops, I guess. So do bring that induction cooker with you. So yeah. And what's about the so, cleaning process? Cleaning for cleaning, a lady comes. Okay. Once in a week, for us, she comes every Wednesday. Okay. And I mean, they work very uh, dedicatedly. I mm -hmm. mean, if you can see all those mess by our friends in the shared house, she will clean everything. You won't okay. see anything like this okay. once she once she visits and But goes she clean only the uh, common area. Only the common area. Okay. She don't enter anybody's room. Okay. So, <laughs> so this is view. the this is our backyard. We got two fridge, which is to be shared with, with five people. So this it is quite spacious, as you can see. It's efficient or what? for five people. It's very efficient for five people. As of now, we don't we have not faced any difficulties by keeping the stuff. Okay. Okay, that's a freezer. Freezer. I mean, both the fridge has almost the same area, mm -hmm. it's enough. So okay. this is the dining area. That is quite spacious. The, it, is a, it is quite spacious room. So that's the garden. So it's just like we are eating with a very good scenery. Yeah. So that's nice, you got a nice backyard. Mm, yes. Okay, cool. So we put some Indian stuff over there, the rope <laughs> in which we used to clean our stuff and put it over there. Okay, for drying your clothes. <laughs> yeah. okay. So like what are the other storage spaces here in your shared house? Uh, so if you think, if you talk about other storages, so the big storage we have, mm -hmm. which we haven't used in now, is this area. Okay. So this is a big storage. Okay. Big storage this is. So all the cartoons are here. <laughs> okay. So cartoon it's a box. Okay, so cartoon. this is like quite Not enough. Cartoon. Yeah. yeah. So this is a space. 
extra space. So now this is for keeping the cycles. Okay. One, two, three, or maybe two, three, six. Okay. This That's is nice. this is a back uh, back door for the thieves thieves to come. <laughs> it's <laughs> not secured, right? It's not secured. I can open. No, anyone can open. Open. Okay. So this is a thieves game. Uh, this is a storage area, right? Okay. For car. Okay, that's a garage. Your right? Garage. You can open and go inside if you have a car. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have car. So, um, like in your shared house, there are like, uh, like I've already told uh, and shared out, there are different sizes of room: large, medium, small, and mm -hmm. they're very small. So you are living in medium room. Yeah, mine is medium. And uh, what are other? Um, uh, sizes of the room here in your shared house? So, uh, the size of my medium room is around 18 meters square. Okay. And yeah. all the other sizes, I'll just put it down in the video. You can find it here on top somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and like in his shared house, I think there is one large room, one medium room, and uh, one large, which is in the downstairs. Yeah. One medium size room in which we are, in which I am staying. Mm -hmm. And there are three more rooms upstairs. Okay. Uh, two are very small room, mm -hmm. and two are small room, and one is very small room. Okay. So um, as of now, if I talk about how much I am paying monthly, so weekly I'm sp I'm spending around I'm paying around one twenty eight pounds okay. a week, which goes to roughly five hundred and four pounds a month. Okay. So this is the costing I'm paying to Grandfield per month. Okay. Five zero four pounds. So now let's check out his room. Oh, personal space. So this is a small room. This is bathroom. Okay. This is a very small room. And the room number three is also is also a small room. Okay. And room number four is my room, okay. which is a medium size room. Uh, oh, it's quite spacious. Yes. For a medium room. I wanted to have a big space mm -hmm. to live in. That's why I choose uh, shared house. Okay. So this is one of the uh, big rooms in shared house. And I can very firmly say that this is one of the best rooms in shared house. Yeah, if, you, if you visit. Why? Because you can see there is a very good view over there, over here. You can open the window and show. It's a very good view. Crossings. So like all the medium rooms here in Cranfield are not particularly this big because I've seen some other of my friends' houses and their medium room was quite a little bit of small, not that a huge, um, you know, you can say a difference. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's quite a little bit of difference in the other housings. So yeah, if you want this medium room, it's like perfect. And what about the conditions of very small room and small room? In small room, you can live very peacefully like in medium size room. Mm -hmm. Only the size is a bit small, like my room size is around 18 meter square. Their room size might be around 12 or, 12 or even, yeah. you have put right? Yeah. Details. But in small room, you can live, but not in very small room. In very small room, if you enter, the room is finished. So, <laughs> okay. so and also there is not much difference between the costing of medium size room and very medium size room and small room okay. so there is not much difference in the costing mm -hmm. so preferably if you are getting the medium size room take it okay so it's a quite, quite spacious and how many uh, bathrooms are here for five people so uh, we have two washrooms okay one is having a bathtub which is upstairs mm -hmm. and downstairs there is a partition okay so both the bathrooms are different, but we have two washrooms as of now. Okay, can I see your washroom? Uh, unfortunately, my friend is there who is enjoying inside in the tub. So I'll ask him. Anna, how much time is there? How, how much time is there? How much time is there? 20 minutes. Oh, enjoy, enjoy. It's fine. You can see the downstairs one. Okay. This is the benefit of bathtub. You can enjoy as it is Sunday, so he's enjoying his life. This is the washroom of 
Oh. Downstairs. That's quite small. It's quite small. Upstairs is also Shower area. So there's an electric heater, like a geyser type of thing, and I guess there's one hand shower only. So in most of the bathrooms, there is only one hand shower and nothing else for Indian students. This might be a tip for you, that there's no tap or something here uh, other than the wash basin. So there are there is a one vacuum cleaner and there's more storage space. So storage mm, space is not problem. So this time in Cranfield University, there was a problem of heating in the many of the accommodations. So Rohan, did you face any kind of problem this time? Uh, yes, so the heater was not on okay. till 20th of November. 20th of November? Yes, and, and we came on 26th of September. So till 28th of November, there mm -hmm. was no heater working in shared house. Oh. Only two shared house was working full time. But most of the many shutters was closed. Okay. Uh, heater was closed. So, so how how are you guys bearing it? The cold. So we made them, mm -hmm. and to which they responded, and they firstly they were saying that we are a sustainable university, we are saving electricity, okay. and it will ultimately make our university sustainable. Yeah. Right. But then it was very shocking that. The temperature over at that time was mm. around 8 or 9 right. and most of the people came from India and some hotter places. Yeah. So we were facing the issues yeah, right. and we continuously started to mail them again and again until mm. the heater gets started. Okay. So on 20th of November, finally it got started and okay. till now uh, we haven't faced any issues with heater. So like it's the thing that the bills uh, like the heating bill is also included in your uh, fee, the accommodation fee. So they should get the heating but they weren't getting and it was quite cold. I, I remember cold, that cold. Cold <laughs> plus windy. Windy, yeah. And Cranfield is super windy so it's like super chill over here. Cranfield plus... Yeah, obviously it's windy and it's UK weather, so wind is always yeah. there. So it's like been three months for you now, and so what are the benefits of living in shared house for you? Uh, so summing up, the benefits of living in shared house is point one, uh, you get a big backyard. Mm -hmm. So after the assignment, if you want to chill with your friends, enjoy in peace, you have a lush green backyard, so you can okay. chill over there. Uh, point number two, which is the be the one of the best. Sh point to stay in shared houses um, you get amazons or any um, third party delivery over here yeah. just outside your house as compared to another uh, accommodation they have to go somewhere else to pick their parcels yeah. so point three um, obviously the costing which is one of the main aspects of student for my room my room is double the size of baroness and I am paying 500 pounds and Canfield be and Baroness people are paying 800 pounds. The only difference between my and Baroness room is they have attached washroom. So just for a washroom they are paying 300 pounds more. So costing is one of the major benefit of she staying in a shared house. Okay. So yeah and one of the things like in Baroness they have a washing machine just right here. Their uh, building. Yes, yes. And uh, these guys have to travel for washing their clothes. Yes. So, so in, yeah. in Baranas, they just have their laundry right. just beneath their room, right. in the ground floor. We have to travel a little bit, but it doesn't matter much because I am saving a lot, right. 300 pounds. So, yeah, that's the thing. So yeah, thank you so much Rohan for showing your house and if you like this video guys, so uh, do like, share and comment and I'll see you in the next accommodation. Good Till luck. then, bye bye. on-campus accommodation that you guys have seen and I personally live in the off-campus accommodation and I feel like there's a plus more point living off-campus because my accommodation is like gives more homely feel and we do have a dishwasher and a washing machine being shared between just four of us so yeah in my opinion I prefer off-campus accommodation so if you're a student looking for accommodation you can check out the website called Amber Student whose link is in the description box below so Amber Student is the Southeast Asia's largest student accommodation provider with over 20,000 plus listings of properties and in over 100 plus cities. 
So after clicking onto the link given in the description box, you will be directed to an Amber Student website where you will fill up the form and someone from Amber Student will reach out to you. And other than that, you can see the properties in the Amber Student like uh, you can filter out like if you want to live nearer to the university, if you want an ensuite bathroom, if you want a private kitchen or you want to live in the share house. All those things can be filtered out even if you want a gym and a swimming uh, pool nearer to your accommodation you can filter these out as well and uh, Amber student also helps to finalize the paperwork all the lease all the agreement is uh, done by Amber student so that is hassle free so yeah do check them out and I'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye